Oh, sorry about that, sir. It's my, my fault. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. It's fine. Nice wallet you have there. Oh, thanks. Not much money in there, though. Yeah, I wish there were more. You like money? <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, money really makes the world go round. In that case, I have a little game for you two. A game? Uh, uh, what type of a game? The winner gets money. Lots of money. Go on. I've placed dollar bills in varying amounts all around town. Now, for this little game, you two will have to compete to find these bills. I'll start with one dollar, then five, then ten, twenty, fifty, one hundred, so on and so forth. Each bill will have an address or landmark written in the top left corner, and that is where the next bill is located. There are 13 locations to find. 13th contains a grand prize of one million dollars. Whoever finds it first gets to keep it, all of it. Are you serious? Of course. Dude, both of us could walk out of this with $500,000 each. Well, there is only one catch. Only one person gets the grand prize, and it cannot be split. Eh, uh, surely we could work something out. I mean, we're best friends. Ready to play? Let's go. Okay, let's go. Now, this is awesome. Uh, well, which one of us do you think is going to get the prize money? I mean, I, I think I should. My sister's sick, and I, I really need the money. Oh, come on. Your sister has pink eye. A million bucks isn't going to make a difference. Well, I still think I should get the money. Hey, how come you get to hold the money? Because I'm holding the money and you're not. So shut up and let's go find this address. Yeah, I think maybe I should hold the money for now. Hey, wait, you're just trying to get ahead of me. Give me the freaking money. Maybe you're trying to get ahead of me. And that's stupid anyway, because we're working together. I don't see why we should be. Only one of us gets the grand prize anyway. What is a competition, isn't it? Only one of us wins the grand prize. Maybe we should actually compete. You're right. Let the games begin. The 13th address. Imagination is getting away with me. I swear, if I hear one more scream or creak or anything, I'm out of here. But no, 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 no. I'm not for the money. It's all that matters now. See, everything went as expected. There's the money! Oh, that's right, the game, the grand prize. Well, that's the thing, there isn't any money. What? There's no money. 
killed your best friend for some money. Now, who is stupid enough to do that? Well, I guess you. No. No, 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 that, that, that couldn't have happened. I, I, I couldn't have done that. Come now, don't be so upset. You won my little game. I killed my best friend. I know, I know. You won. You're one of us now. I have a much bigger grand prize in store for you now. Who are you? I think you know me. I go by many names. Evil, the Grim Reaper, the Devil, you know. You're evil, evil personified. Yes, indeed. And now you're one of mine. No, that's not what I want to be. Oh, it's too late now. You told me yourself, in fact. You love money, and haven't you ever heard? The love of money is the root of all evil. What? Well... Sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. That's a nice wallet you have. Seems a bit empty, though. Say, how about we play a little game? 